Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles and I'm going to be doing something for the very first time. I am a complete novice at this. I literally have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to try to walk myself through it and hopefully it'll help you if you are ever needing to do this as well. So obviously there's going to be some things that I probably mess up. And so, you know, maybe you could help me with some advice along the way, but I am going to be submitting to CGC for the very first time. Now, every time I've ever bought a CGC before, and that is a slabbed, a graded comic, if you are, you know, new to the collecting world of comics, that is uh, where, you know, it gives a value, a grade to the comics that you have. Now, I'm going to be submitting modern books. And again, I've never done this before. I've only bought off of eBay before. And so this is the very first time that I've ever done this. And so I'm just gonna take some books that I want to have submitted. So the first one is going to be this one right here. Again, it's just, just to try it out to see how it goes. This is an older comic book. Then I also have this one right here. This is a David Finch cover and it's gonna go along with my David Finch Prime One piece in third scale. It's where they got the, uh, the head sculpt there. And then um, I also have this one. This is Deathstroke number one. This is, to, again, to go along with my uh, Tony S. Daniel Deathstroke that's up there. And then last but not least, this one right here. This is the Detective Comics 1000. And of course, that is the statue right behind me from Jason Fabok. So these are the four that I'm going to try to submit. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to film the process of me, you know, going through the online forms, actually packing it up and sending it on. And then we'll see what we get. You know, again, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, so uh, this might be a complete train wreck. But without further ado, let's get to the computer. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the CGC website. I've already signed in. You do have to be a member, I believe, for various different services. I think they might be a free service. I'm not sure, but I have signed up. I pay the yearly fee. Um, and so you're gonna go to services and you're gonna select what kind of collectible type. So I'm obviously doing comics. Um, this is a regular grade submission. It is not a signature series at all. So I am gonna pick regular grading. Um, then primary services. Uh, you have grading, pressing, crossover, restoration, restoration, removal, um, reholder, uh, mechanical error return. So there's different options. This, I'm just simply gonna do grading. Um, there is an online waiver and consent form that you're going to have to, you know, read. Uh, I've already read this, so I'm going to agree to that. Um, and then I'm going to select. So basically there's a modern tier, there is a vintage tier, a high value, and an unlimited. Um, so this is a modern comic. Uh, it is, you know, 1975 to present, up to $400 per comic. Uh, mine are clearly not that high, so it is $25 per comic. Um, so there, obviously, you know, there is there is fees to this. So that again, if you're new like I am, uh, you know, some of this might be surprising. Um, Add-ons, high res imaging. Uh, select this service to receive premium high resolution images of the front and back of the collectible. Um, grade pre-screen, fast track. Uh, fast track cuts turnaround times nearly in half available for modern and vintage tiers only. So that's $15 a comic. So if you do that, if it's a faster turnaround time, you're looking at $25, uh, 35, so $40 per book uh, to fast track it. So I'm not in any, any hurry, so I'm just gonna you know, do the regular modern um, and hit add comic. Um, you can add pressing if you want to. Um, I am not gonna do that on these. I'm just gonna kind of see what I get. Um, and so I'm not resubmitting this book. And so this is where you can do your comic lookup. And so this is a yesteryear. add comic and then we're going to add our second comic here and this is detective comics uh, 566 so we'll do that we'll type that in what did i say it was 566 and that is from 1986 
All right, then the next one is And this is from June 17th. And then we're going to do death stroke number one. That one is from December of 2014. So 12 of 14 right there. All right, and so we have our, our four down here. So I'm looking at $100 here plus handling just for these four books. So I'm going to go to review cart. Um, you're gonna choose the shipping method right here. Uh, you can do FedEx prepay, ship on your own. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ship on my own. And this screen right here is where you will send back to me. All right, so I've filled in my information. You can ship with CGC or ship under your own account if you have one, and then which service do you want, so ground. So, so it's gonna cost money uh, to have it shipped back to me. So $20 ground or 125 overnight. I'm gonna choose the 20, um, and then I'm gonna enter my payment information next. And so here we can see grading modern, handling, there's four. Um, and that was gonna cost me $125. There's $100, uh, $100 in the grading, $5 in the handling, and $20 in the uh, return ground shipping. And then I'm going to put my uh, payment information in next and, uh, and billing address. Okay, and that's basically it. Um, it'll say um, you know where it's being shipped to, uh, the payment information, um, also, then of course, kind of a rundown of what you're including. Uh, make sure that whenever you pack them up that you include them in this exact order. And uh, yeah, we'll get them packed up now and I'll kind of show you what that looks like. All right, so you're gonna wanna stack these up. Make sure that they are boarded. That means they have the board and uh, you know it in the bag itself. For each one of these, stack them up um, put them into you know cardboard. There are different companies and stuff that sell specific cardboard things where you can put your books in. This was actually just something I got from uh, you know another CGC or something, uh, basically. And then you'll use uh, painters tape uh, along the sides and on the top. And then you're also going to want to, of course, put your your packing slip in here um, on the top. I'm going to flip it upside down since it's got my address. But it's you know basically you're just going to put that like that. You can also bubble wrap this all together and then put it in a mailer. Uh, I'm gonna put it in a um, USPS priority box, you know, those boxes that you can get from them for free, and uh, it, it does a really good job of protecting them. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get it all taped up and put in the box. All right, so I have it wrapped in some bubble wrap. I also have bubble wrap inside of the priority box. I'm gonna put it in there, and again, hopefully this will be good. And my, my dog says, should be, should be good, <laughs> should be good to go. All right, just a helpful hint here. I definitely recommend PirateShip.com. Uh, really great shipping rates. Um, you get, uh, you know, just some really great perks, obviously, but you can actually select what kind of packaging you have. So I'm gonna do the medium flat rate box. Um, and, you know, you can select whatever, you know, whatever kind of packaging you're using, but I definitely recommend them. I've saved, you know, other collectors tons of money by doing it this way whenever I sell anything. So again, I really recommend PirateShip.com. Okay, here it is all boxed up. Medium flat rate, going to CGC. Again, right there. So <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. So there you go. Again, I'm really nervous about submitting this. Hopefully I've done it right. Hopefully I've printed off the packing slip and tucked it all in all, you know, like it's supposed to be. I, again, I'm really nervous about the process, but 
Uh, hopefully it's a lot easier than I'm thinking it is. And we'll just kind of, again, send it off and you know hope for the best that we get some 9.8s. Uh, that would be really great. So anyway, again, this is just kind of trial and error to see what I get. Of course, I will do a video showing you what I get in hand whenever I get them. But I'm going to start with these four books and just, again, take it from there. So let me know if there's anything in the comments down below that you would have advised me to do, like what mistakes I clearly made. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear them. And again, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get some good stuff back from CGC. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, it was maybe helpful. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, anyway... Let me know what you think. And uh, again, I cannot thank you guys enough for watching. Hope you're all doing great out there. And I'll see you soon in the back cave. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.